brake stand breakdown. Me and Dylan cut out about three o'clock. Go out here and make some daytime stands. We just got one put down, so we're gonna break it down for y'all. I'm running a TPH scatter gun. Dylan on his 223. He's watching the downwind for me. He's right here beside me, so I can instruct him, but he's pretty good on the gun. He's been caught hunting with me for a little bit, so he, he knows what's going on. I have the call 30 yards that way. Our wind is kind of southwest. It's kind of cutting across us a little bit. Our downwind is the most open area. Uh, we started the sequence with the mouth call, and then we went into three and a half minutes of jackrabbit, three and a half minutes of woodpecker, and we had just started coyote raccoon fight when I noticed one downwind of the call kind of working in. Now the broom weeds are extremely tall this year, but we're kind of up on a hill. So I knew if we got him to the edge of the hill, we'd be able to see him and Dylan be able to dispatch him. We was watching the downwind really well and he was kind of cutting towards it. So as soon as he got a little open spot, about 120 yards, I told Dylan go ahead and lay him down. He made a shot connected, did a great job. Uh, he's working his way back up here. With the coyote, he's up there somewhere. Working his way back up here and we'll check it out when he gets here. All right, there's his coyote. What do you think, Dylan? I think it's awesome. All right, let's head to the next stand. Stand two down. We had a sun on our back. We stood up against the pole. Long, open downwind. Kind of using the road as a barrier, hoping they don't want to go near it. Had a lane going this way, and I said, right out in front of me in this bush. I was calling that water source over there. We slipped up in here real quiet. There's lots of sign around here, but they don't always mean they're here at this time. On to the next stand. Stand three's down. Didn't see nothing. Great spot. Has been a great spot in the past. Just wasn't in the car today. Do a quick breakdown. We had to give up the sun to get the wind right. Out there where Dylan's going, I set the e call out to where we can see the downwind of the e call and this hillside they always come in on. Our hill downwind was completely open, so we're kind of tucked back in a tree row. You know, some trees behind us. They don't have much to get in out here. But the wind's shooting right up in the open spot, so we was able to see a long ways downwind. Didn't have this stand. Go bong on the next one. Might be able to get in two more. See you guys next time. Stand five. We had some, I'm pretty sure some pups rolled in these tall broom weeds. We couldn't ever see them good. I don't think Dylan even saw them. They ran up there to the call and towards the call and then jet back out. Ain't no big deal though. But stand four, I didn't record that because we was in such a hurry to jump to stand five. Stand four, great setup, didn't say nothing. That's just the way it goes sometimes. Sit up right, get the wind right, get the sun right. Sometimes you just don't call them in. But until next time, see you guys later.